There we go. A little bit dark in here. I just bought this little lathe. It's a Rikon 7105. You have to change the bolt, which is pretty simple to do to change the speeds. I took these little covers off because that was kind of a nuisance to keep getting them out of your way to change the belts. There's one on the top, one on the bottom. It's nice, quiet little lathe to run. I don't really know much about waves, to be honest with you. This is all I've ever done. I had an old big craftsman. I used to make wooden mallets with it to use them for, you know, driving stuff you don't want to mark up on steel, being gentle. And that's where this whole set of craftsman skews and stuff came from. I don't, I don't know what they all do. I know a parting tool. I don't really know their names. But last... The other day I got a chance to go out and get some different woods. I just chopped down and out my saw. I got some maple. That's cherry. That right there I think is thorn apple. There's some other maple there. Uh, I got some butternut there. That's a more butternut there. That's a piece of packing crate. No, that isn't. I'm sorry, I lied to you. This is a piece of packing crate here. And I'll show you. I just turned some out. We'll go out where the light's better. I'll walk slow so I don't make you sick. I'm running it out my barn because these have a lot of dust. Use my little generator there. I didn't run an extension cord. And this is that packing crate. And that actually was one of the prettier ones. But I'm just learning. I, I really don't know what I'm doing with it. I just turned these round. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. That's a branch. Piece of ash branch. That's a piece of apple. And I tried putting some stuff in it. I don't know if it'll work or not. That is red cedar, which isn't really red. It's a little harder than white cedar. That's butternut. That is so light. It is a hard wood, but it doesn't weigh anything. That is black walnut which is kind of pretty, but it has a tendency to want to chip when you're turning it. This right here is that thorn apple that's just a little scrub that grows on hedgerows. It's really pretty. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. That's a piece of ash, white ash. That's actually a piece of that branch right there. This here is a piece of hard act. I'm making myself a hammer with that. I'll square it up and get it bored. That right there, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. it. It was a dead cherry tree, but it still was solid after you got in it a little ways, so I cut it. And the grain is very pretty. It's just a piece, it's a piece of that right there. And you can see the outside's all punky. Uh, what's that one? That's a piece of apple, too. And it's got that same crack in it. I don't know why they did that. I guess because it wasn't dry, but it should have been. That's a piece of tamarack. That is a, actually a soft wood. But it does, uh, it turns nice. That's a piece of maple I was just playing around with. Not particularly pretty. I was hoping that it would be more. It was a branch that was on the ground. I was hoping it, well, it was a piece of that branch right there. And I was hoping it would be more splatted or something, you know, that it would have some rot, starting to rot and have some nice color to it. Anyway, that's what I've been playing around with today. Didn't know, but somebody might find it interesting. I don't know what I'm going to do with that stuff. I have bonfires, so if I don't use it for something, it'll get toasted. But thanks for watching.